The U.S. Attorney for the Eastern District of Kentucky, Robert Duncan, was appointed by President Trump to enforce laws in 67 counties in the easternmost part of the Commonwealth. Tackling the pipelines exacerbating the opioid epidemic are a main focus of Duncan's office. But he's also tasked with prosecuting federal crimes in the district related to terrorism, public corruption, child and elder exploitation, and firearms. And coming up, we have a conversation with U.S. Attorney Robert Duncan coming up on Connections. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you, We Renee. cover a lot of ground. We talk not only about the opioid epidemic, but child exploitation, firearms, and these other issues and, um, that you're tasked with, with looking over and, and prosecuting. So when it comes to the opioid epidemic in Kentucky, we've had some good news about the reduction in overdose deaths. But does that translate to the lessening of trafficking by whether they're um, more scrupulous means where it's just maybe doctors or through these other international means that we hear from China and Mexico? We have had some good results. You're right. Uh, in the past year, the number of overdose deaths in the state has, has decreased by about 230 people. That's 230 yeah. fewer lives lost. So we're certainly uh, happy for that positive news. Uh, we're continuing to, uh, to pursue vigorously uh, enforcement actions against uh, all those who traffic uh, unlawfully in these, these deadly drugs, uh, both on the illicit side with drugs like fentanyl and fentanyl analogs and heroin, and on the diverted or diversion side with uh, diverted pills that may have started out being lawfully prescribed, but mm -hmm. have uh, transitioned over into uh, unnecessarily uh, unnecessary medical practice and unnecessarily prescribing of these drugs. Right, and the state has taken some of those actions as well. So this really is a, a multi-level government response that's going on here. It is partnership is key in in all of the the work that we do, but particularly in the opioid enforcement uh, arena. We have good relationships with our federal, state, and local partners. Mm -hmm. Uh, both here in the district and statewide. So we're, we're fortunate that we have such good, good people that are uh, helping address this problem. Right. Well, thank you for all the work you're doing on that front and so many others to help protect the citizens of the Commonwealth. And you can learn more about his work coming up on Connections Sunday at 1.30 Eastern Time on KET, the main channel. And then it repeats again on KET2 at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. You can watch online anytime after that at KET.org slash connections. Hope you'll join us.